Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So I'm a little behind with videos. I know it's just been the Easter long weekend, which um, I had my in-laws up. It was my son's sixth birthday. We went to Dreamworld, Crumb and Sanctuary. We had a really hectic weekend, so I got no scrapping done, no no nothing done. But so that's why it is. Is it Wednesday? I think. Is it Wednesday today or is today Tuesday? That's a good question. No, today's Wednesday. Wow. See what the weekend off does to you? I'm pretty sure today's Wednesday. Yes, today's Wednesday. And um, so that puts me about a few days behind for videos. But I thought I would talk 100 Day Project with you. So um, if you're in the creative, scrappy, arty world and you're on Instagram especially, you probably would have heard of the 100 Day Project. So this is my 100 Day um, journal from last year. So last year was the first year I'd heard about this. And basically for 100 days you choose something creative to do and you do it every day for 100 days and it's the 100 day project and basically you pick your own subject or hashtag and mine was 100 days of art now I loved it so much that I decided to do pretty much the same thing again this year so last year I had um, this journal here I haven't done a flip through of it yet I have missed a few pages and um, so I just want to go back and fill those in but I do want to do a flip through of this but this is last year's but this year I have a brand new journal nice pretty new journal that I got and I thought this would be a great place to start now this journal I did love I love the fact that I have an entire journal that is completely full from the one project and I filled this over the hundred days and I think uh, when did it finish? 8 August? No? July. It says here about July. So it finishes in July. So between April and July, I filled an entire journal and I love that. But the thing I didn't like about this journal was the paper. Now, I love to use ink and a lot of it. And this paper wasn't the best to hold up for that. So what I did was I got a new diary this year and this is pretty much identical to that I do to the Dilutions journal. Um, I just couldn't get my hands on one fast enough so I went to our local art shop um, Riot and they had what is pretty much identical. So this is what I'm going to use this, day, this year. Now there's 120 pages in here as opposed to the 100 that was in that one. So I will have a few extra pages that I'll have to figure out but I love the fact that it's the, the heavier mixed media manila type paper so it's going to hold up to some ink so that's why I've decided to get this one this year and so again I'm doing the 100 days of art I haven't actually filled it in because I was hoping to um, come up with something a little better but I just this is my day one I haven't done my day two yet we're on to day two today's the second day but um, yeah I think I'm just going to stick with the 100 days of art because I had a really fun time doing it last year and I love that I have a full art journal at the end of it so I think I'm just going to stick with the same hashtag that I had but last night I was on a group scrappy chat and we, we got talking 100 day project and there is an awesome project going around and I'll leave all the links down below because off the top of my head I'm not going to remember them but there was an awesome hashtag 100 days all about me and basically it's uh, a free email that if, once you sign up it's an email that gets sent to you with a daily prompt all about you and I thought on top of my 100 days of art that I would also do that one too so I'm going to um, basically journal these prompts now it might not be as scrappy or arty it might just be plain journaling but I thought it would be a great way to have like I love to journal we know I have my daily journal that I am you know busy in that I like to do something every day but I thought this would be a good way to um, journal about me because I, I don't journal about me like I journal about my day and I do my art journaling but I don't just write about me now over the past three years my mum and my nan have both passed away and every now and then questions pop into my head I'm like oh, I'll have to ask them that or what's the story behind that and then the realization hits that I can't actually ask them and I thought if you know if one of them had a journal how awesome would that to be now at the age of 31 to be able to look back on a journal that my mum kept I recently found a baby book of mine that I didn't know existed until after my mum passed away and that was like a little treasure trove to discover that so when I saw this hashtag um, 100 days all about me I thought it would be a great way to keep a journal following these prompts and you know sometime in the future if my boys ever 
want to know something that I haven't told them or are just curious, it'll be there in, in a journal for them to, you know, to look back on one day. So, well, even me when I'm older and senile and forget half of my history, you know, it'd be just great. Who doesn't love to have, like, I've kept every journal I've ever written in. And even now I love looking back on the ones that are only 10 years old and just reading through them and rediscovering some things I did or what appealed to me at the time. And when I saw um, the ladies talking about this hashtag with this um, journaling all about me project, I thought it would be really cool to join in. So first prompt went out today and they're just basic prompts. Today's, well, I'll only tell you today's prompt to give you an idea, but if you want to follow this one, you have to actually go sign up for the emails. Um, the prompts aren't going to be listed anywhere else, but today's prompt is what is your name? Nice and simple, but then there are a few other prompts where you can elaborate on that. Um, are you named after anyone? Do you have any nicknames? And I realized I can fill all of these in. I am named after my grandmother. It's my, my name is actually a family tradition. So I can write all this down. This might be something that I might never have told my boys or, you know, so to have it all in a journal written down, and I'm really excited to see where these prompts are going to go over the next hundred days and see what kind of information I'm going to actually journal about. So I'm really excited for that one. Now I will leave the link below so you can have a look at that project and see if you want to sign up yourself. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing for the 100 day project. I'm doing my 100 days of art, which is my art journaling. But then I'm also going to join in on this 100 days all about me challenge. And I'm just deciding if I want to just get a plain notebook or if I want to make a junk journal for that because I haven't had a reason to make a junk journal. Well, there's always a reason, but I haven't actually made a junk journal this year. Uh, last year I did my daily journaling in all my junk journals, but this year I decided to go for a good old day to a page one. So, um, yeah, I'm still deciding if I want to get a book or if I want to make a junk journal. I'm leaning more towards making a junk journal so that I can get a little arty in there as well. And plus I have an entire stack of jelly print thingies that I have not used. So... I thought that would be a good place to, to use them. So if I do that, I will video that process and show you how I make my junk journals. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So if you're doing the 100 day project, let me know in the comments down below what you're doing for yours. And um, uh, link your Instagram if you have one. I'd love to follow along with you. I will link my Instagram as well as the Instagram um, I'm following for the 100 day All About Me Challenge. And I'll also link to... Um, the page where you can get some more info. So thanks for watching and I hope to follow you along in this project over the next 100 days. Bye for now.